So I get asked, um, what's altruism and why is it so important to, to, to study it? So first of all, um, altruism has classically been defined as giving without expectation of return or mm, radically unselfish care of others. Biologists add something else to that. That's a question of motives. Biologists say, yeah, and for it to be altruistic, the consequences have to be sac self-sacrificial, not just the motives. So that's what altruism is. Why is it so important? Because that notion of altruism is such a fascinating biological question. Uh, the Harvard evolutionary biologist uh, E.O. Wilson says it's the central theoretical question in trying to understand the biological basis of social behavior. Um, and he, he goes on to say that um, the human level of cooperation is, quote unquote, the culminating mystery of all biology. How on earth do you get biology that is not only unselfishly motivated, but consequentially sacrificial? So it's a huge question in biology. And in the Abrahamic face, in Christianity in particular, it's posited to be the ultimate goal of human existence. So in biology is, how does this come about? Uh, in Christianity is, uh, it's the ultimate goal. And the only way to live fully is by giving your life away. So I, actually, I have to be honest, in terms of the, the nexus, the interaction uh, between uh, science and, and religion, I, I don't conceive of a more fascinating and more important question.